Well, as always, being researchers, righty rah, me and Amy were just talking about ships in the deserts, and I just went over to the computer and I started looking up, and I don't know what I was going to find because obviously we don't know nothing. And what it was is that I came across this place in um, um, Uzbekistan, and um, basically it used to have this river used to flow into it and supposedly it comes via or comes from Russia and they've banked it all up and you know redirected the water and now the nearly the whole sea or lake has dried up and there's all these ships left so basically they're in a desert so obviously deserts used to have water in them yeah so because this is all a desert now where um I think that's incredible. It's, it, it's not even gone back to land or whatever. It's just desert, just sand, with these ships in it. And it was twenty six thousand three hundred square miles. That's a lot of water gone. Oh, it sure is. And so what it is is they want the water back, but they can't because they haven't got enough money to fight Russia for it. Yes, it's terrible. It's just so weird, like going there and seeing, like, if I could go there and see all these ships sitting there, and actually it's because it was with water and it doesn't have any water now. I know. And obviously these ships got left there. And you can stop and read any of this information as we're whizzing through it, because obviously I've looked at a bit of it. Um, so it says here that it was the most catastrophic environmental disaster that happened. Well, I think imagine those people living there. I mean, I told you there's a plan. I haven't put the video out yet, but where well, they want to bank off the water so that basically from the Shetney Islands across to Norway or Sweden, whichever one it is, and then down from England, the Scilly Isles to France, and then that would make that a lake and change its whole environment. I just think they must have been doing these things over and over again and changing our landscape, calling it the. Uh, what do you call it? Global, global, whatever crap they want to call it. Global warming. And actually, it's yes. them doing it to us. They're changing the water. They're, you know, like this whole. Anyway, so basically, there's signs left. So this one so shows a fish on it, because originally in the 60s, only the 1960s, the water came there. The boats came in and they did all this fishing there. And they said, there you go, 40,000 people worked at its peak. That's a lot of people, isn't it? It sure is, yes. I don't know if they're telling us the truth on that, but, um, you know, right. just if, you, if you take their information. Um, and now it's a desert. Yes. Absolutely. So that's the end of it. But absolutely, you're like, oh, my God, I never heard of this. And so it was an environmental disaster. Mm, we haven't heard about it at all. We're not talking about it at all. That's right, once again, yes. And what it was is, I was, I was hoping to find a lot more with this then, because I thought, well, this can't be the only place, but I didn't really find anywhere else. We're just going to look at some more pictures from this, but there is somewhere else that me and Amy are going to talk about in a minute. But, um, you know, yes, I have to find that agree thing. I'm just signing the agree thing. I didn't edit that out, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the desert. Greetings from the desert of ghost ships. Incredible. Rusting away yes, since the 1960s. But I mean, that, how, they diverted a whole river. It's thousands of miles big. I know. It's just incredible. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's the sign to show that they used to have fish there, and not even that long ago. And there is a picture of all the water that's gone. Just get rid of all the adverts. Don't worry about the adverts. They're everywhere. You can't get rid of the bloody things. But um, look how much water went. I mean, that's that's incredible. Wow. I don't even know why, as it's inland, I suppose the ships would be going from port to port, wouldn't they? Dropping stuff off. But um, now you can just walk there. It might take quite a long time, but um, yeah, you can walk there. Oh dear, another one of those things. I don't want to subscribe. But, um, wow. Quite incredible to 
It's, it's not, you know, because obviously I thought there was ships in the desert, but it's the fact that they took all this, all this water's gone. Yes. They're blaming Russia for it. Right. It's right, they say Russia diverted a lot of the, 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 the lakes and things that, don't, that came into this. But, oh, no, no. Anyway, you can see the ships there, so it's just a few more places reporting it. Absolutely correct. There's someone that's put their name on it. It's 1993, so it's obviously been there for a while. Yeah. Incredible. But it's all Russia's fault. Anyway, we're just whizzing through these pictures because we've got another bit to go to in a minute. But um, I just find that, like, wow. They should... don't remember saying that, what a disaster it was for these people. I know. I, mean, I never heard about Look at it. that water. All that water is gone. There's just a little bit left, right? So say it's ten parts. There's like one part left. Maybe two parts out of ten. But the rest is gone. I mean, most of it is gone. Well, it's all full. I think that's where it is about there. So that whole thing's gone. It's about mm, a third of the size of... Well, getting up about a third of the size of the Black Sea. But, um, yeah, absolutely incredible. What else have they been doing to us? That's right. Eh? You know, all the things that they've changed without our knowledge, without our permission. They're supposed to be at our beck and call, but actually we're at theirs. Exactly. By that television. Exactly. Oh, um, um, Amy told me around, oh, Harry's making a film. <laughs> Yeah. We're supposed to get all yes. up in the air about things like that, aren't we, Amy? We actually just want to laugh. I know. Right, That's I think we're right. going to the next one now. Oh, yes. No, we're still... Oh, this is it. The California. Go on, Amy. Read this one. We're on the California one now. Oh, so the one about the salt in the sea. Yeah? Yes. You've got... Yes. In, is it... Where is it? Arizona. You've got a salt... Uh, California, sorry. It. California. You've yes. got a Sultan's Sea, so it's an inland sea in California. Yes. Go on, Amy, read your bit out. I'm, and there's words on the so, screen, but you're going to read yours out. Okay. Well, it's an article um, from something called Our, Our World, brought to you by the United Nations University. So that's the but it's saying what happened here at the Salton Sea and the person describes visiting there and they said they uh, pulled up just before sunrise at the Salton Sea which is California's big biggest lake and it was an almost surreal experience it said it was eerily quiet with just the sound of water a few desolate cries of waking birds and the sound of their polaroid cameras abandoned and partially destroyed mobile homes a chair in the water a lone boot a pink sink and a barbecue are just some of the things lying around it makes you wonder what happened here and it says that at the beginning of the 20th century as farmers set up shop in the hot desert climate of the imperial valley they needed to tap into the colorado river to irrigate their crops to enable this the California Development Company dredged two intake gorges without the use of floodgates. However, in the summer of 1904, the flow of water stopped as the intakes became deposits from the Colorado River. Another intake gorge was created. As omitted, these humors of water to be carried from a flooded Colorado River into the Salton Sink area thus creating the present-day Salton Sea. Um, and it says that geological studies show that the Colorado River spilled into the Salton Basin many times over the millennia, creating intermittent lakes. So the basin has a long history of alternately hosting a freshwater lake and be in a dry, empty desert basin, according to the balance between inflow and evaporative loss. And it says humans are responsible for inundating the basin only once. 
But the assault in the sea is not just a story about the repeated failures of a human endeavor to control nature for human needs. After the sea's creation, the area enjoyed a few decades as a tourism resort and felt a boom in recreational fishing, but that was only until the increased salinity and pollution killed off most fish fish species, leaving the strange wasteland you see pictured here. Well, the reason that we picture. looked at it, wasn't it, Amy, is because they say that there's a ship there somewhere, but they don't seem to have yes. it. But, you know, Christian kept talking about the, the, the mud coming, so maybe that's another reason why it's under there somewhere, because it's under the mud. But um, exactly. I can't believe it. The Salton Sea sounds like something from Egypt. It does. And, and it just says that, um, that this Salton Sea has become saltier and saltier every year. And which has <laughs> made... The, the Inland Sea over in, um, you know, the Black... What is it? Not the Black Sea. You've got the... Which is the Dead Sea. There's a sea... The one in Israel. Is what I think it is the Dead Sea. Yeah, the Dead Sea. Yeah, that, so, so yeah. that one's naturally salty. Mm -hmm. This one, they're saying it's got all these deposits from farmers. But if that was the case, then um, there you go. It's on the screen right now. Then everywhere would be like that because everybody's farming. Everybody's got sure. toxins. It's all been leaking in. So all the rivers, all the lakes, everything would be like this. It's not that this one is like that. Um, yes. I don't know what to say about that, but we originally because they said that there's a boat, but they don't seem to find the boat. They say that there's like a, a 1,600-year-old ship somewhere stuck out there. Yes. But I suppose if the mudslide came, like Christian says, then that might have been then, but it's amazing. I've never heard of the Salton Sea in California before. Me neither. I had never heard of it and either. It, and it's strange again. It's somewhere where obviously people used to go and now they've run away from and now it's got loads of problems and now no. But I took, I saw in some of the pictures of the sea that people were swimming in it. Well, You're saying I basically know. don't go near this sea. It's really toxic. Yes. And then people would be swimming and in it. There was well. loads of people swimming in it. Yeah, that's crazy i think of the here we go like this is this is oh there's a picture of the chair but that some of the water is so badly colored it's like orange yes and i mean that one says it's collapsing there i don't know about that but look at the colors it is i mean it almost looks like we're on mars now and we don't want to be going there right and yeah there's all this farming all those green pieces of land there are farmers farming around this piece of water that's so toxic you can't really go in it but I saw people in it there you go look um oh there's birds in it where is it there's people in it I'm sure I took a picture somewhere here there's people in the sea will we find it <laughs> I can't see it now um there it is I can't see it now maybe we've gone past it but there it is in California I've never heard of that before Amy I haven't either, Karen. It's kind of between Mexico and United States, if you understand what I mean. It's still like it's just above Mexico, and um, <laughs> it's got Bombay Beach. So obviously, people must go there for that. Sultan City, um, Mecca, Mecca. See, Mecca. Yeah, it's so strange. Crazy. Like, isn't it strange that some of these places have kept their names like, like the other countries but nearly all of them have gone nearly all the names have gone but here we've got the Salton Sea and we've got um, Palm Springs we've got um, uh, where was it Bombay Beach yes Mecca I know but you can't go in it because it's polluted right but you can see that it used to be i mean in that in the, in the guy was talking about uh, i was just whizzing through the pictures obviously the sea used to be um much bigger and used to be all this round here and now it's that big but it's still an inland sea i've never heard of that before amy in america never no i really had neither karen but then what's I mean, this one here is that an inland sea there's another like big pool here. I mean, what's that then? But they're saying the Salton Sea, and I say it used to be much, much bigger, but it's much smaller now. Yes. 
crazy. We do find some crazy things, Amy. We do. That's right, Karen. What's your but thoughts you're... then before we go, Amy? Oh, I don't know what to say. I just don't know. Um, I didn't even know about this. You always find these things, <laughs> and then you show them to me, and we start researching them. Well, that's, so this that's is two cool. environmental disasters. We've got one, yeah. uh, wherever it was, that other place, the, the video, earlier on in the video, we were talking about all the ships left there, in the, in the the and it's now a desert, all because the water got diverted away, and thousands of houses it said it was the most environmentally it was a catastrophic environmental event and this one's not very good where the sea used to be much bigger now it's it's very small compared to what it was but it's still called salt and sea and it's contaminated like oh my god yes it's crazy isn't it it really is I don't like this place is you know we live in such a beautiful place but it's so ugly as well I know that's right well that says about 200 miles 370 kilometers across in the bit they're showing and this is quite small this thing might be only about 10 15 miles long by I don't know it's not very big yes never heard of it in my life me, me neither. Oh my god, me and Amy have been looking for the bloody boat in this Salton Sea. And then I said to Amy, I'm just going to check on something at Bombay Beach. And there's the boat. Yes. It's and there incredible. it is in, in the sand. It looks very desolate there. You know, it looks very... I don't like any of it. Hang on, I'm going to show you more pictures of it. It doesn't look very nice. One second, Amy. You you said that they're going to make it so that artists can do something there, but yeah, it looks pretty so sort of run down. And... Yeah, the artists, uh, I, I don't know what they want to do, but uh, they'll congregate there, and um, I guess uh, they have a bar that they've put up there. And, um, it doesn't look very nice though, does it? It looks like some like nuclear bomb has happened and this is what's left. Yes. One second, it's I'm going to show you this bus. I'm just going to show you this bus. Hang on, Amy. So, there's a sort of broken down bus in the mud. That's bizarre, isn't it? It is. Hmm, one second, Amy, as I move around. Yeah, it almost looks like we're on another place altogether. Yes. Do, 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 do. It doesn't even yeah. look that nice. I don't imagine that I thought California had places like this in it. To me, I know. I wouldn't have thought either. I think I was reading that they even use these places to film horror movies and stuff. Like about yeah, I'm the not apocalypse. surprised, Amy. I know. <laughs> mm, one second, Amy. I'm just going to do this picture to show them this one. It says Bombay Beach is a resort that went broke. There was an, no attempt to remediate the homes that went bust, and a few people still live there. It sits on the receding, obviously, uh, it's getting smaller and smaller. The water, isn't it? That's what's happening. Did you know yeah. that, Amy? <laughs> No, I didn't know it. Uh, no, nope, not till today when we were making this. I never even knew about it. No, neither did I. Should we have a look at the video? We're going to wait. There's a video to this. We're going to look at it. Hang on. Well, Amy and I were looking this up because it's just so bizarre to think that you know this place is vacated. Amy, explain what you were just telling me. Yes, I was saying that people who go visit there, uh, it's, uh, the smell is overwhelming. They can't stand it because of the, um, like, rotting um, marine life and I think even something to do with the salinity, the salt in the water, it's just a really bad smell. So that would contribute to the reason why it's abandoned, because the smell is horrible. It's really weird. It's... We get the Dead Sea, and that's very salty. No one complains yeah. of the smell. Everybody carries on. You've kind of got, like, the Dead Sea here, 
everybody's complaining, everybody's left, and it just looks like, I don't know, it's, it's the sea is getting further and further, it's get, the place is getting smaller and smaller. That's what happens when no running water runs in, because that's what happens, it just, that's what happens with the Dead Sea, isn't it? Because they're inland seas. Yes. But like, um, so basically it's the salt lakes, you know, like why can't they just admit that? I don't know, it's, all uh, bizarre. it's just really... bizarre, you're just finding out all this stuff and none of it makes sense. It doesn't make any sense, that's right. This, this place, they said it's gone bust. Yes. I'm surprised everybody moved out. I know. I think they're... It's full of caravans, of... it's not full of houses. Bombay yeah, Beach is full they... of caravans and shacks. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. There's not many houses in there. Right. Crazy. Oh, it is crazy. You know, I've been to I California. Know. I don't remember my aunt telling me about this. I, I don't know. I'd be more interested in going. If I'd gone to America now, I'd be going, let's go see this place. I know. Uh, that's right. Anyway, Amy, we're going to we're gonna finish. We were just adding that bit that one of the reasons yeah. is that they... Um, that they can't live there is because of the smell but yes do you believe that uh i think it could be true because around my area um uh cross town from me they had all these factories and some of the waste from the uh factories would go into the river and if you drove by there like the smell was overwhelming so i think that part could be true well, the thing is, the reason that you might not want to live there now is because everybody's vacated and left their stuff there and everything's rotting. That's what you're yes. smelling. It's just the old furniture, old clothes. This place is laden with stuff and so everything will be smelling, yes. not just the water. You know, the, the, That's true. But it's got that same thing again, like Bodhi and, and, and Texana. They were there and then they're not there anymore. That's right. It's like, you know, don't, you know I don't know, the government thinks about other countries and especially the Americans about look how they treat their people look all this the same things are going on in America as they're complaining about happening in other countries exactly that's right this is so weird when you see this place it's obviously a bit bigger than this and you can see there's quite a few houses well things there and like those cars are from the 60s and 70s they've all just been left there Exactly, yeah, it's crazy. I think it's just crazy, yeah. Anyway, we're going to um, finish now, Amy, but we just wanted okay. to add that bit in, didn't we? That's right. Yeah, Amy, I'm I'm just showing um, the, just a few shots of this place. It's quite derelict looking, like it was a place that was and it looks quite abandoned. You know, just like those places that we've been, I mean, there's a car driving around there, but um, it looks so, it looks like, you remember we've done one, Bodhi and Texana that have just, the people were there and then they're not there. That's yes. the same sort of thing that's happened to this place. The people exactly. were there and then it's been left. Right. I mean, obviously a, yeah. few, a few people must live here because there's a car driving around. Um, but basically the sea's getting smaller and smaller. You can't go in it because it's toxic. And then places round it have all shriveled up and died. This is Bombay Beach. This obviously was a, a place that was thriving. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I've just showed what it looks like here. We're going to look up in the 1960s. Something like that, Amy, and see what happens there oh, quickly. Okay. Let's just look up Bombay Beach 1960s. Oh, really? I put into the computer Bombay Beach, California 1950s. And here you go, it's much more of a thriving place at this time. Obviously bits of it might be a bit um, derelict, but there was a lot more going on there then. Yeah, this is what it's like now, but it was more thriving. You have postcards and everything from there. Crazy or what, Amy? It is, Karen, I know. Yeah, it was really nice in the 50s and 60s, um, but it's really But now it's so makeup. toxic from the farmers. Yes. So I put um, 1950s, let's put 1960s, let's see what happens when I put 1960s in. 60s. Yeah. 
60s. Right, we've got 60s in now. Let's see what the pictures bring up. Ah, oh, the same pictures. Well, it's really weird because they put the pictures that I've just had from the 19. Bombay has gone, has gone from, yeah, it's gone from that with a bar to nothing but it's basically showing you all the pictures as before with all the broken down trucks all the caravans stuck in the sand you know so let's have a look yeah. at 1970s because obviously it's still showing that there's been a bit of civil life a bit of a Salton Sea heyday history yes um, let's put the 1970s in see what happens then 1970s <laughs> same pictures. Same pictures. Yeah. Exactly the same pictures. So let's put the 1940s then. 1940s. Because we haven't gone that far back. So we'll look 19. I've got to put in. Hang on. I've got to put in 40s. Right. Because we've done 50s. Oh, it brings up the same pictures. Yes. <laughs> so when was it? Th like when did it stop being? When was it stopped? I think afraid. it was the 70s when, is when it got really bad. Do you think so? I think that's what I read. But it just looks like a place that was and everybody's just gone. Yeah, I know. Mm. So, all right, I'll put, 90, I'll put 1980s in and see what happens then, because I'll put 1970s in. That's 1990s, 1980s. Let's just see what it does. It'll probably just bring up the same pictures. Yeah, exactly the same pictures. Let's put yeah. nineteen. Let's just put nineteen twenties for nineteen twenties. Same pictures, Amy. Yeah. Oh, is it? It doesn't I change. Let's put nineteen ten then. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Hang on, I'm putting Amy down for a minute. <laughs> um, it's not changing any of the pictures. The pictures are still the same. Nineteen ten. Let's a look. Take that off. Press that again. All right. Still the same pictures. I put 1910 in. It's not giving me up anything from 1910. It's just showing me exactly the same pictures. That's weird, but it does that. So you obviously want to stick to yeah. the fact that it's 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 all like. So obviously something was good here, then wasn't it? Because they've ruined it. Right. Never heard of it. There's a lot of there's a lot of farming there and irrigation still happening. Yes. With the ship, we found the ship now. Right. It's at Bombay Beach. But I think they're gonna would find loads of ships, wouldn't they? I know. I just think it's incredible. I don't like. I don't like things like this. I mean, this looks like Chernobyl. If you know what I mean. It does. It really does. It reminds you of that, doesn't it? That kind of thing. It does. Yeah. Anyway, so um, up here you can obviously see I changed the date, the time to 1910. Nothing. It's bringing up the same pictures, but um, a place that was that isn't anymore. Just like the river that was that isn't anymore. See what they've done behind our backs. They're just dirty, dirty liars. Yes. I don't understand why everybody left this place. What, because the sea was toxic? Right, I think that's what they're saying. The Salton of, Sea, uh, Bombay Beach. It's like a hotel there. The only thing, the only other thing is nothing. Because I think it's, it's supposed to be that bad. Yes. Exploring Bombay Beach. Yeah. Anyway, Amy and I are finishing now because we don't really know the answers. We might look into this a bit more, Amy. Yes, Karen, that's right. Because sometimes when you look into things more, you find more and more information. Yes. And people um, don't like to keep anything nice, do they? I mean, this just looks horrible. Yes. And one thing I just wanted to point out was that it was, um, they're saying that the salt in the sea was created in 1905 by like a fluke that the Colorado River was overflowing from this, from a snow melt. 
beginning of an unusually heavy winter and has spilled into this valley a large valley in California, which was hundreds of feet below the sea level. And um, but some people say it was a mistake by engineers working on the irrigation of, uh, working on the irrigation canals. And um, since its heyday as a glamorous beach resort <clears throat> in the 50s and 60s, the Salton has shrunk dramatically. And the water level at Bombay Beach has dropped some 20 feet leaving the water some 100 feet away from the docks and piers. A ghostly abandonment, this article I just saw. Well, you know what that means? That means they redirected the water like they did in the first part of this video. Right. Yeah. For, for, for the water to, to drop like that, then they've redirected the water. Yes. They redirected well, thank you the for water. That, Amy. Yes. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. I just kind of looking through at the information and I came across that. All right, we're adding this bit to the video. Thank you, Amy. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. Just awful. Just awful. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you, Amy. You're welcome, Karen. Anyway, thanks for helping me. Just more oh, pieces of jigsaw puzzle. Yes, oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Very fascinating and more questions <laughs> to bring yes, up. Yes, Amy. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome. Because obviously the... Amy and I did that video last night and I'm just adding this little bit. I was looking up the Dead Sea because obviously the Dead Sea is really salty. Okay, and they're just giving you reason they're just saying and there's no fish in it and you know rah 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 and I just looked up a few things which you can read because obviously the Salton Sea is disappearing and the Dead Sea is disappearing but they're seas that don't have any inlets now and both of them seem to have water that was coming in and has now been directed other places so no water's coming in and then it's evaporating and becoming more and more salty so that's what they're saying for both Amy and I did that video last night and I'm just adding this little bit I was looking up the Dead Sea because obviously the Dead Sea is really salty okay and they're just giving you reason they're just saying and there's no fish in it and you know Ra ra ra, and I just looked up a few things which you can read because obviously the Salton Sea is disappearing and the Dead Sea is disappearing, but they're seas that don't have any inlets now, and both of them seem to have water that was coming in and has now been directed other places, so no water's coming in, and then it's evaporating and becoming more and more salty. So that's what they're saying for both the seas, really. Um, yeah, that one's about the, 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 the Dead Sea. Of course, they're never going to say very much, are they? Because they don't even want us to know the truth. But it's really ironic that both these places are the same thing is happening to them. You know, that they're just getting more and more salty, less and less water, and um, yeah, they're disappearing. But then they're... You, if you read a lot more, you can find that it's to do with the fact that they're just making sure that the water's diverted away from these places. And, um, you know, when you look at the name, look at the name, salt, salt on sea. So it's a salty sea. So it's pretty obvious it's just like the Dead Sea, really. Of course, this one's polluted and rah, 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 and people don't go in it. And the other one, don't swim in it more than 15 minutes. But anyway, I just thought I would add that bit to it because I think that they're both very similar places and the reason that they're going is because no water's coming in at all. So they're just drying up over time. But anyway... Thanks for watching.